Um, and the software that uh, will be released for that is, is coming out over the next uh, few months. So version 14 will be the biggest uh, upgrade in Tesla software since version 12. Which would put it so far ahead of every other competitor. I believe Waymo is slightly below 20,000 miles between critical interventions in places like Austin and California, which is far less safe than a human, but with interventions makes it safer than a human. But for this to be a scalable system, it has to be safer than a human in every situation. And that two to three times safety profile is without a driver. So, sorry, unsupervised. So un unsupervised between critical interventions. We'll see if that's the case. Elon was hyping it up like crazy on the All In podcast. But the expansion from Tesla is really the big, the big story here, is that they are getting into different areas and different regions much faster than competitors have in the, in the long term. But until they pull that safety rider or driver, and until they can get to a very good ratio between robotaxis and teleoperators, they're probably not gonna show this on their PNL and their profit and, and loss sheet, basically the number they tell the market that, hey, this is how much money we made. But you damn well know that once they do, once they have that three to one to five to one ratio and nobody in the car and they're collecting fares from people, you damn well know they're going to be like, hey, you know, we spent $30,000 per robo taxi in the, in the factory to build them. Now that's your capital expenditure that's in a, a separate line. But as you're tracking the, the cost versus revenue generated by the service, we, they can start showing, hey, each car is making a profit of, say, $200 per day or $300 per day, whatever that number is. 